everyone, myself Shivangi Desai. I am your instructor for the video series of data visualization. Today we will discuss some of the topic of unit 6 that is information dashboard design. So let's get started. So in today's video lecture, we have a brief introduction of what is dashboard and then we will discuss some of the design issues of dashboard. So let's start with the first topic that is dashboard. A dashboard is a visual representation of the most relevant information required to accomplish one or more objectives, compile and arrange on a single screen for easy monitoring. A dashboard is a visual display of all of your data. While it can be used in all kinds of different ways, its primary intention is to provide information at a glance. So we can say it provides the summary of your data. Dashboards provide a unique and effective approach to an organization's information need. Dashboards allow all kind of professionals the ability to monitor performance, create reports, and set estimates and targets for future work. Here is an example of how a dashboard looks alike. This is the dashboard of some company which shows the traffic overview. Now as you can notice, all the data is displayed in some form of graphics. So this is how we can arrange the summary of the data with visual impact. A dashboard is a unique and successful solution to common business problems rooted in a genuine need for data. It is small enough to fit on a single computer screen. The goal is to make the most valuable knowledge accessible quickly and easily so that we can learn that what we need to know. Almost all of the information contained in the dashboard is abbreviated that is summarized in the form of summary or exceptions. Dashboards have display mechanism that are compact, brief, simple and intuitive. The type of graphical communication that is typically required in business is not difficult to learn how to do but it doesn't come naturally. Designing individual graphs is simple compared to designing entire dashboards. Trying to get all that information on a single screen in a way that doesn't end up looking like a cluttered mess isn't easy. Dashboards that communicate clearly, accurately and efficiently are the result of careful and informed visual design. A dashboard must be designed to support three main processes that is see the big picture, focus in on the specific items of information that need attention and quickly drill into additional information that is needed to take action. However, there are some design issues involved in a dashboard design. So let's discuss all these issues. So here is a list of design issues that are involved in designing a dashboard. So let's start with the first one that is exceeding the boundaries of a single screen. Something powerful happens when information is seen together at the same time. Not only does this provide convenience for viewers and save the valuable time, but it also paints a complete picture that can bring to light important connections that might not be visible otherwise. Something critical is sacrificed when the viewer must lose sight for some data in order to scroll down or over or move from screen to screen to see the rest. Part of the problem is that we can only hold a few chunks of information at a time in short term memory. Relying on the mind's eye to retain a visualization that is no longer visible is a limited venture. Besides designing a dashboard that requires scrolling around to see everything, data is often fragmented into separate screens. The dashboard that you can see on the screen has fragmented the data that a sales executive might need to monitor into tiny slices selected through the use of radio button or list boxes. For instance, to see the seven major metrics that are displayed in the upper left corner of the screen, the viewer must select and view them separate and never together. The same is true for product revenue, regional revenue and etc. 
With this design, the viewer can never compare the performance of products or regions, which is common need. Splitting the big picture into a series of separate small picture is a mistake when seeing the big picture is worthwhile. Next design issue is supplying inadequate context for the data. As a means to monitor what's going on in the business, dashboards are usually populated predominantly with quantitative measures of what's currently going on. Measures of what's going on in the business, however, rarely do well as a solo act. They need a good supporting cast to get the message across. To state that quarter to date sales total $73,600 without any context means little. Compared to what? Is this good or bad? How good or bad? Are we on track? Is this better than before? The right context for the key measures makes the difference between numbers that just sit there on the screen and those that enlighten and inspire action. Measures of what's currently going can be enriched by providing one or more comparative measures such as a target or some history as well as quick visual means for assessing the measure's quantitative state. Next design issue is displaying excessive detail or precision. To support the purpose of rapid monitoring, dashboards should never display information that is more detailed or precise than necessary. To do so would force the viewer to process levels of data that are irrelevant to the task at hand. Too much detail or measures that are expressed too precisely, say for example, rather than rounding up a floating point value, we show the entire data with all the floating point value would make it less beneficial. Examine the two sections in the given example that we have enclosed in red rectangle. The lower right section display from 4 to 10 decimal digits for each measures which might be useful in some context, but doubtfully on a dashboard. The upper highlighted section displays time down to the level of seconds, which seems excessive in this context. With the dashboard, every unnecessary piece of information result in waste of time, which is intolerable when time is definitely of the essence. Next design issue is choosing inappropriate display media. This is the one of the most common design mistake that happens not only on dashboard design but in all form of data presentation. Using a graph when a table of numbers would work better and vice versa is a frequent mistake. But what is more common is using a wrong type of graph for the data and its message. Without the value labels on the pie chart in given figure, you can only understand that the opportunities rated as fair represent the largest group, then those rated as fill cells very high, which represent a mini group, and the other ratings are roughly the equal in size. If you must read the numbers to determine how the slice of a pie chart relate to one another, you might as well use a table instead. We use graph when the picture itself reveals something important that couldn't be communicated through a table. The slice of this pie cannot be interpreted in a useful way without reading the associated numbers. So what the use of this picture? The bar chart given below the pie chart, however, tells the same story as the pie chart, but does so clearly because it is a better medium of displaying the information. Next is an issue is encoding quantitative data inaccurately. When you use a graph to communicate quantitative data, the values are encoded in the form of visual objects, such as the bars on the graph given in the figure. This visual object should accurately encode the values so you can compare them to one another as a means to compare the values and understand the relationships. Sometimes, graphical representation of quantitative data are actually misdesigned in ways that inaccurately display the quantities. The quantitative scale along the vertical axis was improperly set for a graph that encodes data in the form of bars. The length of a bar represents its quantitative value. 
the bars that represent revenue and cost for the month of January suggest that the revenue was about four times in cost. An examination of the scale, however, reveals the error of its natural assumption. That is, the revenue is actually less than double the cost. Next design issue is arranging the data poorly. When designing a dashboard, you cannot put the pieces of information together in any old way that they seem to fit. If a dashboard isn't organized with appropriate placement of information based on importance and desired viewing sequence, along with visual design that segregate data into meaningful groups, the result is a cluttered mess. The goal is not simply to make the dashboard look good, but to arrange the data in manner that fits the way it's used. The most important data should be prominent. Data that requires immediate attention should be to stand out. Data that should be compared out to be arranged and visually designed to encourage comparisons. Notice on the dashboard that is displayed on the screen, the most prominent position, the top left, is used to display the vendor's logo and navigation controls. What a waste of prime real estate. As you scan down the screen, the next information you see is a meter that presents the average order size. It's possible that average order size might be someone's primary interest, but unlikely that out of all information that appear on this dashboard, this is the most important. Notice also that the line graph in the top center position displays the historical trend of the order size, which logically relates to the average order size data that appears in the meter on the left. So why isn't the next to the meter so that relationship can be easily seen? This dashboard lacks an appropriate visual balance based on the nature and importance of the data. Next is an issue is ineffectively highlighting what's important. Take a look at the dashboard that is displayed on the screen. Everything in this dashboard is visually prominent and catching your attention and nothing in particular grabs your attention. When this happens, the dashboard has failed. You should be able to look at a dashboard and have your eyes immediately drawn to the information that is the most important one on the entire dashboard. When everything is visually prominent, nothing stands out. All of the data displayed on a dashboard must be important, but not all data are equally important. When you are monitoring the business, your eyes must be drawn to those information that most needed to draw your attention right now. Both the logo and navigation controls are prominent as a result to their position on the screen and the use of strong borders. Then there are the graphs where the data resides, but all the data is equally bold and colorful, leaving us clueless. So, such exercise should be avoided while designing a dashboard. Next is misusing or overusing colors. Color can be used in powerful ways to highlight the data, encode the data, or create a relationship between individual items on a dashboard. But it is commonly overused and misused. Color choices must be made thoughtfully based on an understanding of how people perceive color and the significance of color differences. Some colors are hot and demand our attention while others are cooler and less visible. When any color appears as a contrast to the norm, our eyes pay attention to our brains, attempt to assign meaning to the difference. When colors in two different displays are the same, we are tempted to relate them to one another. A common problem is the use of too many colors, especially bright colors. Because dashboards are often densely packed with information, the visual content must be kept as simple as possible. The use of too many colors can be visually assaulting when overused, colors loses its power to highlight what's most important. So these are the common design issues of the dashboard and which should be avoided for an effective dashboard design. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you.